Hi everybody, Matt back with you. Hope you're okay. Uh, today I'm up at the top of Rippenden uh, at uh, what is officially Baiting's Reservoir. It looks a little bit different at the moment. Uh, this summer there's been a drought declared and currently a lot of the reservoirs have no water in. Uh, but I've popped up to Baiting's because when the water level gets quite low here uh, it reveals something quite amazing. So you can see what we've got is this almost lunar landscape. Uh, you can see how low the water is and how far up it normally should be. Uh, that's the bridge uh, you can drive across today. In the distance, you can see some things. So the drought has revealed the original Pack Horse Bridge. Which was covered up by the water when the reservoir was built uh, in 1956. Now you can see how this would have been the road across to get to the other side originally. Uh, now, because it's so low down, I've never seen it um, quite so much. Quite often you can see the top of this, uh, but yeah, this is the lowest I think I've ever seen this. Is a fascinating uh, landscape. It's also very windy and because of what's happened here uh, it's become a little bit of a tourist spot. People are trying to catch this before uh, summer moves on and the rain comes back. Uh, so there's no much point in me speaking anymore, I'll just film what I can. Let's see what other objects have appeared, maybe from what people have thrown off the bridge in the past. So baiting seems to be the one that always gets quite low uh, during spells of hot sunny weather. Um, however, reports are kind of suggesting that that pack horse bridge hasn't been seen since 1956, which is completely false. Uh, I've certainly seen it a couple of times. I'll admit I've not seen it as low as that, but uh, I have walked across it before. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know if anything else was uh, flooded here as such. And there's no sign of any kind of buildings or anything like that. Um, but interesting to know if there was. Now this is good to find. This is where uh, the water from Great Man's Head Tunnel um, comes out into Baitings. Um, I've done another video, if you want to search for it, I think look for um, Journey Through the One and a Half Mile Tunnel. I didn't quite reach the end, but this is the end of it, um, obviously from the other side. Um, looks like we're starting to find things appearing at this point as we get closer to the wall. Uh, obviously some people have been here and collected a few <laughs> items they've managed to find. Uh, but we are getting a bit nearer the wall. Um, I think there's a tunnel in the distance. Let's head over and have a look. So this looks like a good tunnel. Not sure if it's one we can get in. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, so I've reached the wall. I'm hoping that's not a mine there. You can certainly see at this end foundations of things that have been here before. Uh, whether they were built or buildings from before the reservoir or during its construction, I'm not too sure. But there's a lot of this here. Um, maybe it was part of the workings. You can certainly see how low down the water is here, and a tremendous amount. There's a few more little bits of buildings that would normally be underwater here. Built from the Huddersfield Brick Company. That looks like a bit of a road. So I'm now going to head up onto uh, the top of the wall walk along the top and see what we can see and as you can see I'm doing a voiceover and finally found another shoe it's been ages since I found a shoe en route so this is the view from the top of the wall um, you can see <laughs> exactly how low down it is um, incredible really Usually the water is flowing down the side here. And in the distance you can just about make out Ryburn Reservoir. Okay, so that concludes our look at uh, this extraordinary landscape of Baitings Reservoir. Uh, if you do get a chance to come up and look at it, I would, whilst it's here. Uh, we are heading to the back end of summer now, so maybe it will rain and eventually fill up. But my goodness, what a huge amount of water has gone from it. Uh, but what fabulous things you can find uh, on the landscape. Okay, take care guys, keep safe, see you soon, bye.